Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mel, and today I'm going to be talking about some things that I have learned in my 16th year of living. So as you're watching this video, it's actually my birthday and I'm 17 today, so I thought I would film this video just to talk about some things that I've learned whilst I was 16 because I learned a lot, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The first thing I've learned is do not rely on people for your happiness. If you're relying on people to get your happiness, as people, we're all imperfect, we're all sinners, we all mess up, so if you're getting your only source of happiness from people, you're just going to be let down. So I would recommend making your own happiness and doing stuff that you love and Jesus. You don't need a boyfriend. Set high expectations for yourself for relationships and dating because you're worth it, you are so amazing and you deserve someone incredible. As long as you meet the expectations that you're setting, say for example you want to go out with someone who is really patient, then then it's really important for you to be patient as well, so meet the expectations that you're setting. Be yourself. Being unique is so important, and being the person who God created you to be is so important because God created you to be you for a reason, nobody else, and there's no one else like you on this planet. Don't change who you are for anybody. Spread love to everybody, even the creepy people. <laughs> Be patient, God has a plan for you, his timing is perfect, not yours. Ask God what you want, you have to be specific, if you don't ask then you won't receive. God wants to hear what you want, because how is he supposed to know what you want if you don't tell him? <laughs> Appreciate what is right in front of you. Sometimes we constantly look at the future and forget to see what's right in front of us and it's so important to appreciate the little things in life. You are amazing, you don't need other people's opinions to validate that. Pray about it, don't post about it. <laughs> if people don't accept you for who you are and make you change then you should leave them immediately because your identity is so important and it's really really important for you to make that decision so that you don't hurt yourself even more. Believe that what you're praying for will happen. Now this is so important because if you don't believe in what you're praying for then how do you expect it to come true and how do you expect God to make that happen for you if you don't even believe in it yourself? You can overcome anything with Christ. When you are praying and asking God to speak to you, the first thing that comes to your mind is most likely God. I know we sometimes think that we put those thoughts in our mind and it's not God speaking to us, but uh, my youth pastor told me that the first thought that comes to your mind is God. Spread love always, not just during the bad times. Do not settle. You're on your own path. Just enjoy the ride and don't try and go on someone else's path. Don't compare yourself to others because you're supposed to be you, not someone else. Makeup isn't everything, you are so beautiful without it. Happiness is self-made, try and be happy in every circumstance. It's okay not to be okay. Sometimes we go through seasons of sadness and depression or anger, but just know that you will get out of that season and just try and be happy no matter what circumstance you're under. There is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Your dreams can come true if you believe in them and if you work hard towards them. Don't let age define you, maturity is what matters. Compliment others always, lift people up to win and not to fail. See people for what they're becoming, not for what they've done in the past. If you don't like something about yourself, change it. Over this past year of being 16, sometimes I would wake up and just be like, you know what, I'm so sick and tired of being impatient, I want to change this. So I'd pray to God and I would be like, God can you please help me to change because I don't like being impatient and I need you to help me to just be more patient and God helped me so much and th this day I'm standing here and God has helped me so much with my patience. So if you don't like something, a quality about yourself, just change it and ask God to give you the strength to change it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me talking about some things that I've learned in my year of being 16. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and maybe subscribe, it can be my birthday present. I love you guys so much, believe in your dreams, God bless, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye!